it's a crazy fangirl shine we hope you guys are having an amazing day so today we are going to be watching the sixth episode of the last of us kin guys i'm so excited but also scared just because the cover picture of this episode is joel being looking sad and uh, it already breaks my heart like why are you looking sad sir but also it's because i'm very excited because we are seeing a very interesting episode because i i know what's gonna happen i don't want to spoil it um but oh well people would have watched it but basically it's like a reunion sort of thing um so i'm excited and obviously leaving off of last week's episode oh uh, dude last week's episode was freaking insane but it was so good and just it was my favorite episode out of the whole series so far Probably this episode is going to top it because there's a lot of scenes that I'm hoping will be in this one. This is the one where I'm like, not high expectations, but I'm like, please be good. <laughs> because it's one of my favorite parts of the entire game, of the first game. So, um, fingers crossed, it's good. <laughs> and yeah, also I just want to apologize for my absence this week from the channel. I think not many people follow me on Twitter, so I thought I'd explain. Unfortunately, last week my auntie passed away on Wednesday. I announced it on Twitter that I would just be taking a break. Um, and this is, yeah, it's been a tough few days. It's been good though, just spending time with family and just a lot of realizations that I'm going through and just, yeah, in a way, I don't know, death is a funny thing and it's weird and stuff. So yeah, it's been a bit hard, um, getting through it, but you know, we get through it and we, we life goes on, unfortunately. <laughs> But yeah, thank you all to everyone who's sent me some love. I really appreciate it on Twitter and even in just DMs. I really, really appreciate it. You guys mean the world to me. So thank you guys so much for reaching out. But anyway, enough of the drama. Let's jump straight into this episode. Please remember to like, subscribe, and comment if you enjoyed this video, but also keep up to date with all my other reactions to more TV shows, movies, and video games. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. Oh, why are you playing it again? Oh. <laughs> Oh, dude, that scream that Ellie gives out was oh, Had me thinking about that episode for so long. It's just so intense. Three months later. So it's been a while. Oh, she looks so sweet. Why did you shoot him? The girl's all the way over there. <laughs> he has got a girl with him. Can I come down? <laughs> no. Ellie. Lol. <laughs> oh, wow. God, they're the worst. <laughs> Street signs in the enormous fucking forest. Holy. <laughs> Bitch, you better be the same as your wife's. Joel, chill. So you haven't heard the name Tommy? Nope. What about the fireflies? We get those in the summer. <laughs> the bugs, the people. There are firefly people? <laughs> <laughs> You don't seriously believe them. They've lived here a long time. <laughs> Ellie! Put that back. I don't know anything. Oh. Joel, are you okay? Panic attack? Okay, okay. I'm fine. No, no, no but are you? It's just a reminder that if you're dead, I'm fucked. I'm fine. Fireflies. It's gonna be easy. Nope. All you have to do is cross the river of death. The river of oh. death. Oh. That's gorgeous. It would have been freaking freezing, but the view. Uh, just to warm up. <laughs> My God, Joel, are you kidding me? Then, like, what do we do? We. Okay, fine. Whatever are you. Oh, you Joel. An old farmhouse, some land, a ranch. Oh, the kind. <laughs> How she dare you? Did not want to be attacked today. <laughs> oh, I hate this. I hate this so much. How dare they? How freaking dare they? Oh my god. I hate them. I hate them. Neil, I hate you. Craig, I hate you. I hate all the actors. I am joking. I love all of you. But... Why? Vaccine. Oh. Ellie. I'm late to start wondering. Well, it was a lot more complicated than that. Marlene, she's a lot of things, but she's no fool. If she says they can do it, they can do it. Are you sure, Joel? Don't take first watch or second. I'll do both. Joel. Yes, Joel, you're supposed to be on watch. Why are you asleep? I'm wondering when you're asleep. <sighs> 
Kelly. I woke up do things like this. But I can. Because I just did. <laughs> I'm responsible for you, okay? Then don't fall asleep. Yeah, Joel! <laughs> High ground and kept watch. And he taught me to. Wake me up next time. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, I want to squeeze her cheeks. She's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as they get on the other side. That was my impression of a clicker, don't judge me. <laughs> oh! Oh, he's holding her hand! Oh my god! Oh, the way he reassures her, my heart, dude, can't handle this. Oh no, it says that she's an- oh! Oh, doggy! So oh, bad doggy! I love doggies, but go away! Shoot! No, da da do not Joel, chill, Joel, chill, Joel, don't, stop! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good doggy, huh? Oh. God, it's my heart! <laughs> What's her name? Joel. That's Maria. Oh, there he is. Tommy. Oh, Joel. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so oh. <you> doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, Ellie. Oh no, she's sad. <laughs> Sorry, Ellie. Let's mind our manners. <laughs> Dina? Is that child Dina? Hello? <laughs> oh my god. It's all coming together! Would it be nice to have a moment here, maybe just for family? Mm. Well, uh. Maria is family, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Ellie! Congrats. <laughs> Joel! Oh my god! You love all good family reunions, don't ya? Variable power scope. Sub MOA. Headshot those fuckers from half mile out. Can you teach me how? No, we can't. How do you keep this place quiet? Can I pet her? Yeah, what's her name? Shimmer. Shimmer. Baby Shimmer! Some new clothes. Pretty sure she's in the game. Do worse? Oh, trust me, we have been. We've been doing fine. Shut up. <laughs> Christmas trees and bacon. Pretty decent setup. So how's Tess? She's fine. All right. She's the daughter of some firefly mucky muck. Trying to find her family somewhere out here. Bunch of bullshit, by the way. Yeah, I can't go. Come on. Wait. What? Cause your wife won't let you. No, oh, she's the one who kept you off the radio. <sighs> Is that why you stopped messaging me back? After I... They're very protective of this place. They have a good fucking reason. I mean, folks find out we're up here. No, I heard. Wrong <sighs> man. No, the wrong people. Oh. Hey, Joel. We survived the only way we knew how. There were other ways. We just weren't any good at it. Because I'm going to be a father. It's a few months long now. Oh, oh no! Oh God! Joel looks like he's having PTSD. Oh God! I gotta be a good dad. I think you'll be just fine, Tommy. Guess we'll find out. Oh, oh! 
just because life stopped for you doesn't mean it has to stop for me. We'll grab some supplies and be out of your hair in the morning. Oh. <sighs> Damn, that was tense. Oh, Joel. Oh, no. Oh, no, Joel, please. I didn't want that awkward thing to happen where they, like, go and tap them on the shoulder and it's just not them. I feel like, oh, I like the way they did that, though. Oh, my love. Oh, I want to give you. <laughs> Look at her, all pampered. And yes. <laughs> well, this actress, she's really good. No, I was an assistant district attorney. Oh, I shit. Damn, girl. Damn. She's got that, like, authority to her, too. So I like that. Sarah was just. I think that's the first time she's heard about it, pretty sure. Therein lies the point. Be careful who you put your faith in. The only people who can betray us are the ones we trust. Oh. Oh. Stop. My heart's already torn. Please stop. <laughs> I can't remember if he tells in the game. That's fine. She hired us to smuggle into some fireflies. Oh no. Really bad. You know, she saved my life there. From another kid. Five years ago, I would destroyed him. But she had to shoot him to save me. Fourteen years old. Because I was too slow and too fucking deaf to hear him come. What's the You think I can still handle things, but I'm not who I was. I'm weak. No. Maybe there are these moments. It's all I do. It's all I've ever done. It's failed. Again. It's the last thing I'll ever ask. It's really all they had to worry about. Oh my god. Boys, movies. They're doing the scene now? Oh my god. I came here to talk to you. No, why are you still here? If you're gonna ditch me, ditch me. I have to leave her, you have to take her. She knows the area better than I do. Do you give a shit about me or not? Of course I do. And what are you so afraid of? I are you now? <laughs> Maria told me about Sarah. No. But I have lost people too. You have no idea what loss is. Everybody I have cared for has either died or left. Everybody fucking except for you! So don't tell me that I'd be safe from somebody else because the truth is I would just be more scared. Now come down. We're going our separate ways. Perfection. Perfection. <laughs> yeah, just while they have this montage, um, holy shit, <laughs> dude. First of all, Pedro. I feel like that has to be his Emmy nomination. And then also, that scene is word for word from the video game. And punched. Oh my fucking god, why are they showing those beautiful eyes? Sarah, oh my god, she's gorgeous. Oh, Joel. Like, I've been saying Bella is Ellie, but Pedro also is Joel. He's been perfect this whole time. Mm, my love. Oh. You came here to say goodbye? I still think you'd be better off with Tommy. Let's go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was like no hesitation whatsoever. Just like fucking come on, dude. Oh, I love it. 
Oh, the Millers. Jesus. <laughs> He's teaching you how to shoot. I love it. You squeeze the trigger like you love it. Gentle, steady, nice and slow. You gonna shoot this thing or get it pregnant? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that. Oh my god, are you kidding me? It was right on target, too. Oh, what a shot. Can you not? I'm already in love with the show as it is. Oh. Building? That's right. Houses, stores, that kind of thing. We were called contractors. It's a contractor. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Everybody loved contractors. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, Joel smiled. Stop it. Oh, they're so cute. Stop it. Must be from the old labs. <laughs> Look at this girl. First time seeing a monkey. First time seeing a monkey. <laughs> Do know what happens here, like word for word. So, this is the one thing I wish that I just knew nothing about it. Like, even though it's nice to relive it, it's like, oh, goddamn, why? <laughs> oh, dude, frickin' oh. God, it's so loud. <laughs> Maybe in all that research they turned into fucking monkeys. That's where they went. Oh, great. Jump! Oh, God! Oh, my God! Oh! Damn, dude! Oh, my God. No, don't pull it! Oh, my God! No, don't! Why would you? Mm, that's the worst thing that you could do with a word like that! Nice, silly. Oh my god, this is why you don't pull anything when you have a wound! I can't fucking do this without you. Oh, I don't know where the fuck I'm going. What the fuck I'm gonna do? Oh, why these lyrics? Oh, dude, that was great. But also, god damn it. How do I describe it? I guess it was very revealing in terms of Joel's character and how much he's grown, I guess, throughout this whole story because we don't see him break down like this in the game. And that's why I was going to say I really like this soft edge to him that they've given in the game because he's very hardened in the game. And, you know, it's understandable, but he's a lot older as well in this one um, because the age that he's in now, like in the show, is when he's that age is when he's in the game, like the second game, sorry. And so he was older in the second game and they made him older in this. So it's like, I feel like for him, it's like, it's showing like the wear and tear of living in this apocalyptic world, which is really interesting, but also just the trauma that he's had to deal with. Like, I think as well, like not only like with the trauma of like what happened with Sarah, but even just reliving it with the fact that Ellie's in his life now, like how he was talking about his dreams but also just like how he's failing not only Sarah, but failing Ellie over and over and over again. And it's just like, my God, that part in the episode where it's just Joel and Tommy in the shop, it's just like, that's going to be Pedro's, I, like if he's not nominated, I'm going to be upset, but that's going to be his moment when it's like the Emmy like nomination. Um, Cause just, he was so, so sweet and just so heartbreaking and just so, vulnerable again we don't see him that vulnerable in the game so it's like i don't know there's something about that sort of coming out in this which just makes so much sense oh it's so heartbreaking and again just pedro is perfect as joel and this just sort of like it, it cements it too just it was so beautiful and again like just seeing his anxiety to continuing to flare up um it's just so heartbreaking because yeah we did in a way we saw him have a pt P, uh, what is it? Post-traumatic stress. PTSD 
episode in the first episode because like he full on like you know murders a man for Ellie and now it's getting he's getting more and more anxious about continuing the journey because he doesn't want to get Ellie killed which is just so heartbreaking and also we got to talk about the room like the scene like oh that was beautiful the scene where it's Ellie and Joel and Ellie confesses that she did hear everything and knows about Sarah is just Oh, it punches you in the gut every time. <laughs> that was perfect. Word for word and acting wise, it was so beautiful. And I don't know, there was a little edge to Bella as well, which I love. I've cried too much in the past like four days alone. I just didn't have enough tears to cry today. But just, oh, my heart was just breaking throughout that whole I, yeah, I just, I, we, I think, oh, oh, all the gamers knew that this was coming. I think as well, just because Pedro, I know, like, he said in interviews that he has a bad back problem, so I knew that they weren't going to throw him off a, a balcony, because in the game, Joel gets thrown from a balcony, lands on, like, a, like a, I can't remember what it's called, is it a rubber or something? I can't remember, it's like a bar. It goes through him, and it's just, bleh, it was gross in the game, but yeah, it's just, yeah, it's very full on. So in a way, I am glad that they just said like, oh yeah, he's going to get stabbed. It's fine. So yeah, in a way, that is, <laughs> stunt-wise, I feel like that's much better. And then at the end, just she's crying and she's just saying like, you can't, you can't leave me. I don't know what to do. Just, oh, God. Just, oh, oh why you got to dig the, the, the knife deeper into my heart, dude? So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please give a like, subscribe, comment, and tell me your thoughts on this episode. I, again, thoroughly enjoyed it. I really, really, really enjoyed the character development for Joel and him opening up. It just... Uh, I don't know. That's just... It's... I don't know. It's extra, like, punchy when they end, like do that stuff. Like, when they just show vulnerability in a character. I just love that so much. And I also think, like, that's the human factor, too, of just being vulnerable opening up your emotions and your fears and as scared as you are you're gonna do it anyway and just despite the judgment whatever he just did it and just yeah it's just beautiful and also Gabriel Luna as Tommy oh my god <laughs> let me just fawn over him because goddamn dude he is chef's kiss he's so good looking but also he was perfect as tommy i really liked as well his vulnerability in terms of talking about being a dad not only because of the whole joel thing but even with him he was like taking responsibility as a father and being like yeah i'm not gonna go because my wife's pregnant i ain't going anywhere so i feel like that is such a beautiful thing and just i don't know the the act of staying Either in media or in real life, I've seen people leave because of kids and stuff, and it just breaks my heart. So when storytelling shows, like, someone's willing to stay either for a child or an unborn child, it's like, yes, I have hope in humanity. And yeah, just, yeah, he was just amazing as Tommy. He was perfect. It was a really good episode. As heartbreaking as it was, it was a really good episode. Because I was like, like, how are they going to pull everything off? Like, especially because we only have like three or four episodes left, I think. Or oh, this is like, the f including the fourth. So there's three more episodes left. It's like, how are they going to pace everything out? If they're doing Jackson, are they going to include like the science stuff? Like that whole thing at the end? I was like, are they going to do that? And they did. And it worked so well. So that was very well done. Anyway, I'm gonna stop because again, I say this every time. I'm gonna just keep going if I'm left here with the microphone and everything. So I'm gonna just stop. But again, such an amazing episode. Yeah! So again, thank you guys so much for watching this, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace, Fangirl, out. Woo!